Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Super Make Something Basics. Today, we compare the Elegoo Mars Pro to the original Mars, and find out whether the Mars Pro's built-in carbon filter makes resin printing at home safer. Over the past year, interest in resin 3D printing has grown significantly. 2019 saw the release of a multitude of masked stereolithography printers from various different companies that enable hobbyists and makers to create incredibly detailed models at home for price points that are the same as many entry-level fused deposition modeling or FDM machines. Arguably the most popular resin printer released this year is the Elegoo Mars, a fully assembled masked stereolithography or MSLA printer with an anodized aluminum body, a 120 by 68 by 155 millimeter build volume, and a 2K masking LCD that is capable of creating prints with an incredible XY resolution of 0.047 millimeters, all at a retail price that is typically less than $250. However, while resin printers are clearly capable of creating more highly detailed models than FDM machines that use spools of printer filament, they also come with some drawbacks. In addition to having a more involved cleanup process than models printed on filament printers, one of the biggest concerns for home use is that resin printers release both a stronger odor and potentially more volatile organic compounds into the air during operation. Within the context of 3D printing, volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, can generally be thought of as gases that are released into the air during normal printing operation. While both the toxicity of gases released by printing resin, and whether these are more hazardous than emissions from printing filaments is still under investigation, it is generally agreed upon that a higher number of released VOCs are bad, and that they negatively affect air quality. As a result, it is highly recommended that any type of 3D printing is best done in a well-ventilated area, or within a dedicated enclosure that vents directly to the outside, though this is not often done in practice. To address these concerns, and to increase the safety of their resin printers, Elegoo Inc. has recently released the Elegoo Mars Pro, an updated version of their popular Mars printer that includes several usability and safety upgrades. Compared to the original Elegoo Mars, the Elegoo Mars Pro features a redesigned matrix UV lighting system that decreases print times by curing print layers faster and increases light uniformity to make it easier to print large models that span the entire print area, a linear Z-axis rail for smoother, quieter printing, a micro-textured printing surface that allows models to stick to the build plate better, redesigned set screws for increased durability, and a relocated USB port to the front of the unit. Additionally, the Elegoo Mars Pro has a rubber gasket around the bottom of the lid and a built-in carbon filter that absorbs volatilized resin to cut down on resin odor and VOCs released into the air during a print job. These last two upgrades aim to increase the safety of resin 3D printing at home, but how well do they work? To investigate this question, Elegoo Inc. graciously sent me one of their Mars Pro printers so that I could conduct some air quality testing. Let's begin by setting up the Mars Pro. Like the regular Mars, the Mars Pro arrived in a well-packaged box with all of the components again safely nestled in foam. This printer was again wrapped in a clear plastic and also had a static cling film on the touch-sensitive LCD screen. The overall build quality matched that of the original Mars and was again very impressive. Besides its red color, the main physical differences at this point of the setup were that the set screws on the build plate had been replaced with larger bolts to make them less prone to stripping out during tightening, a printed P and a relocated USB port on the front of the unit, the inclusion of a linear rail behind the printer's Z-axis lead screw, and the presence of a set of holes behind the resin vat that feed into the carbon filter located in the base of the unit. The Mars Pro and Standard Mars include essentially the same set of tools, with the exception that the surgical masks bundled with the Standard Mars had been replaced by a set of reusable air filtration masks rated for filtering out 2.5 micrometer particles, and a rubber gasket that needed to be attached to the base of the printer's cover in order to mitigate resin odors during printing. These additions were very encouraging, because it showed that Elegoo was serious about addressing people's safety concerns with using a resin printer at home. The Mars Pro setup procedure also remained identical compared to the non-Pro version. In case if you're interested in learning more about the setup process, please check out my video about the original Mars linked in the video description below, which also explains the differences between the fused deposition modeling, stereolithography, and masked stereolithography printing processes found in many home 3D resin printers today. Elegoo again does not include a sample bottle of resin with a Mars Pro printer. Therefore, if this is your first MSLA machine, be sure to pick up a bottle of 405 nanometer photopolymer resin when you order your printer as well. With the printer set up, it was now time to test the effectiveness of the Pro's integrated carbon filter. For this, I purchased an indoor air quality monitor, which is capable of measuring not only the amount of formaldehyde and the total amount of VOCs present in the air, but also the amount of fine particulate matter, or PM, released into the air during printer operation. 
This particular air quality monitor provides measurements for three different particle sizes, 1 micrometer, 2.5 micrometer, and 10 micrometers, which, for 3D printing, could come either from the resin itself or from other particles that are kicked up by the printer's fans during operation. For reference, a human hair is about 70 micrometers across, meaning that nearly 30 PM 2.5 particles could be placed across its width, so these particles are incredibly small. Compared to the regular Mars, I hypothesized that the total number of VOC should be less, though I was not sure about the particulate matter. To test this, I used the following procedure. I first sliced an adorable Baby Yoda model, scaled down to 50% that I had downloaded from Thingiverse in the latest version of Chi2Box, which was included on the flash drive that came with the Mars Pro. I also placed two 1cm cubes near the edges of the print area to test whether the Mars Pro's new Matrix UV lighting system would improve the print quality of models that use a large portion of the print bed. All models for both of these prints were angled at negative 45 degrees relative to their base orientations. Profiles for both the Mars and Mars Pro were preloaded in this version of Chi2Box. A profile for the Saturn, Elegoo's anticipated large format printer was also included, which is very exciting and hopefully means that this printer will be available soon. For each print, I used the resin profile recommended by the manual for each printer, as well as a 20% infill, which worked well for the standard Mars and Elegoo's 405 nanometer standard gray photopolymer resin in my previous video. All models in both print jobs used automatically generated supports at the medium setting and were exported onto the flash drives that originally came with each of the printers. Before starting any prints, I took my air quality monitor outside and ran its built-in calibration routine for 5 minutes to allow it to establish a baseline for fresh air. I next transferred the slice prints to each printer, transferred the recommended amount of resin for the prints plus a little extra into each vat, placed the air quality monitor approximately 6 inches away from each printer, opened my office window, and started the print jobs. Unfortunately, the air quality monitor does not have the option to export collected data to an SD card, so I waited until the measurements during each print stabilized, and used this for the VOC and particulate matter emission values for each printer. I also took air quality measurements without a printer to establish a baseline value. For this, I used a computer fan, which was attached to a 3D printed mount that would allow me to point it down at my desk and ran it for approximately the same amount of time as each print job. For these tests, the fan's distance from the tabletop and volumetric flow rate was approximately equal to those found in both Elegoo Mars printers. So how did the Mars Pro do? Qualitatively, the Mars Pro produced less odor during printing. As expected from the print settings, the total print time on the Mars Pro was also faster, which clocked in at 3 hours and 38 minutes versus the standard Mars, which completed the print in 4 hours and 1 minute. Unfortunately, the Mars Pro was not able to successfully print the 1cm cubes located on the edge of the build area, though resin from both cubes cured to the FEP film during the print. This suggests that the failure to print these models was likely either the result of a leveling error or a slightly warped print bed, instead of a fault in the printer's UV exposure system. The model cleaning procedure between the Mars and Mars Pro also remained the same. To ensure a consistent curing environment, I used a turntable and UV lamp and exposed each model for one hour. The cleanup procedure for both printers was also identical. Once the parts had finished curing, it was time to compare their print quality. As expected, both printers created beautiful prints. Overall, the differences between the 45mm tall Baby Yoda models were slight, though the details on the Baby Yoda printed on the Mars Pro seemed a bit sharper compared to the Yoda printed on the standard Mars. At a normal viewing distance, it was difficult to see the 0.05mm layer lines on either model. While anti-aliasing was enabled for the Mars Pro print based on the recommended settings, this did not appear to make a significant difference in print quality. At the model heights I printed, I did not notice any artifacts that would result from Z-axis wobble, though the advantages of the Mars Pro's linear rail may become more apparent for taller models. But what about the effectiveness of the Mars Pro's rubber gasket and carbon filter? Air quality measurements taken during printing indicated a formaldehyde concentration of 0.079 mg per meter cube for the standard Mars, and a concentration of 0.057 mg per meter cube for the Mars Pro compared to a baseline concentration of 0.058 mg per meter cube for control experiments that simply pointed a fan at the desk. Similarly, the concentration of total volatile organic compounds was 0.342 mg per meter cube for the standard Mars, 0.247 mg per meter cube for the Mars Pro, and 0.243 mg per meter cube for the baseline. These results suggest that the Mars Pro's carbon filter does a fantastic job at filtering out formaldehyde and other volatile organic compounds during a print job. Particulate matter measurement results were a bit less clear. Measured concentrations across all three particle measurement sizes indicated that the particle emissions of the standard Mars matched the baseline, whereas the particle emissions generated by the Mars Pro were slightly elevated. 
This may be due to the fact that I had extensively used the standard Mars prior to testing, whereas these measurements were taken with the Mars Pro's first prints, so some material present in the filter from manufacturing may have been emitted into the air. Like with carbon water filters that you have in your fridge, which first need to be flushed with a few gallons of water before they can be used, it may be necessary to let the filter in the Mars Pro run for a while to get rid of any loose particles present in the filter after it comes from the factory. I'll continue to monitor these values during future prints with the Mars Pro, and we'll be sure to report back if I notice any significant drops in these values. That being said, both the PM2.5 and PM10 measurements were either very close to or below the mean continuous 3-year exposure limit, and well below the 24-hour exposure limit recommended by the EPA. Unfortunately, I was unable to find an EPA-recommended threshold for PM1 concentrations, but if you have a source for these, please let me know in the comments below. So what does this mean for you, and should you buy the $299 Elegoo Mars Pro over the $249 standard Elegoo Mars? Based on my tests, I found that the print quality of both printers is nearly identical, and that both units are capable of producing incredibly detailed prints. The Mars Pro's carbon filter does seem to be effective at filtering out formaldehyde and other volatile organic compounds. During these tests, neither printer produced particulate emissions that were significantly higher than the EPA's recommended guideline for 3-year continuous exposure. A user probably risks the most exposure during the model and printer cleaning process, which requires the lids of the printers to be removed. During this portion of the printing process, air quality measurements spiked significantly, but since this process is the same for both printers, one isn't any better than the other one in this regard. My recommendation to you would be the following. If you own a standard Mars already, and you're happy with the print quality, there's no immediate reason to upgrade. If safety is your primary concern, you probably already follow all of the recommended safety precautions, operate the printer in a well-ventilated room, and own a PM2.5 or better air filtration mask. If you do not yet own an Elegoo Mars, definitely consider purchasing the Mars Pro instead. The upgrades in the printer will likely make printing any type of model easier, and the $50 you save by buying the standard version will be spent on buying the air filtration masks that you should buy anyway. Overall. I'm incredibly impressed with the Mars Pro and will definitely use it in the future along with my standard Mars to create highly detailed resin prints. Like its predecessor, the Elegoo Mars gets the super make something seal of approval. The Mars Pro is another fantastic printer from Elegoo that features several quality of life improvements over the standard Mars. The unit's integrated air filter does seem to do a good job of filtering out volatile organic compounds and can give users some peace of mind when resin printing at home. That is not to suggest, however, that this printer is safe to use in an enclosed environment without proper safety protection. The long-term effects of photopolymer resin on the human body are currently still unknown, so please be sure to always follow proper safety precautions and to wear a mask and nitro gloves. Resin 3D printing, like any other type of 3D printing, are done at your own risk. A big thank you to Elegoo for sending the Mars Pro for me to review. If you found this video useful, please consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the bell icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Your support helps Super Make Something reach a larger audience. Well, that's all there is to this episode. Thanks for watching, now go Super Make Something! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Your support helps me make more episodes. Links to all project files can be found in the video description below. Click the subscribe button on the left to keep up with my latest projects, click the cards on the right to check out more episodes, and connect with me on social media. Thanks again for watching, now go super make something!